Alright, so... This video started with this. So this is... Ultra sensitive thermal probe. The T1 is just for the alarm temp, as you can see in the top left there. The bottom says detect temp. That is the actual temp. And where is that temperature coming from? And oh yeah, it just keeps rising. It'll go up to about 60 degrees. by the end of this test, which is simply a benchmark. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing why these settings will help your PC in the summertime from overheating and also making you overheat. This is an open air, no, it's not even closed open air. See where the thermal probe is? And then make sure to put it in the same spot not touching any metal it's just free floating there look at that by the end of the test it goes to 62 degrees the air coming from your GPU if you have a 30 series or up the temperature from your GPU will be going into your PC case again this is open I need to show what kind of temperature is actually going into your case so at this temperature from your GPU is going into your PC case. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to make every component in that PC case warm up. When that happens, things will start crashing. Usually, the first one will be memory if it's not uh, overclocked in any way, or if it's not uh, really compatible for your motherboard. That is another thing for nowadays is compatibility. That can also affect. The thermals, see, look at that, it's still, she's still going, it's, it's very slow on the decline. But, during, running the test, this is, this is after the test. Look at the, look at this average. I'll be showing this better in, but the average, due to it being so warm. 351 average and 160. 160, I have a 165 hertz monitor, that's no good. That's no good for me. That's wide open. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a MSI aftermarket underclock, but not underclocking it at all, which will help your thermals in your PC case and hopefully keep you cooler and your PC cooler and everyone happy during the summertime. Let's get her done. All right, as you can see here, power limit 100, temperature as low as it can go, fan speed 70%, nothing else touched. Let's go. And that test there was just more or less to warm up the PC, but the frames were about 360 average, 365 average, in the low of 170, and you'll see that quite often during this test, no matter what I set it to, even though we are lowering the temperature. And here's the results of just lowering the temperature. 364 and 164 for the low. I am all right with that. Now just taking a look at some details here. We're going to look at the temperature. The temperature will go a bit above due to the memory, the core, and the way everything works. Everything's got to switch down the power, switch down the cores, switch down everything. It does take a bit to stabilize everything. 
but it will not peak to like the 80 or 90 degrees that you would normally else see. Which for a PC, a graphics card, a CPU, your RAM, your VRAMs, your SSD, NVMe, your hard drives, everything will either start to slow down around those temperatures and or fail. So keeping things cooler during the summer can help you a lot. So the next test here, we are simply just going to lower the power limit to 90. Nothing else, just lower the power limit to 90, start a test, hey, or even go play a game. Your results will not be too far off from your full power and your full allowed tolerance for temperature. Trust me, go try it. So with a power limit of 90, a temperature limit of 65, and a fan speed of 70, percent our score is somewhat the same 366 and a low of 166 not too bad wow we actually gained a frame but that is just due to multiple other things could be the ram could be the cpu could be the gpu had a little small hiccup there who knows so with the power limit at 90 Fan speed 70, and after multiple tests, we hit a maximum of 71, 72 degrees. And remember, this is only 90%. We, we are still hitting frames that we should be hitting at 100%, and at 100% uh, maximum usage of temperature. So mine's around 75 or 80. But I said mine's 65, and I set the Please power limit to 90, rise. and we are still getting frames where you're losing four frames from the average. Remember, this is just during summertime. Uh, for some people that do not have really good AC or have a smaller room, this is a very good trick to do. Is just set the power limit to 85 or 90. I find 90 in the 30 series to be very good. And setting the temperature limit to as low as it can go. You will not lose a whole lot of performance, but you will notice uh, either your uh, electricity bill is going to go down as well. You'll notice as well. But you also notice that your room temperature will not be as hot. And this is just due to the simple little trick with MSI Afterburner. Again, for you AMD people, uh, I haven't been an AMD person for a while. I do have or I, yeah, I do have 6700 XT and all that, but that's all I have. There's not enough to test on for me to do AMD right now. Maybe in the future I will do a uh, AMD uh, undervolts uh, temperature limits power limits who knows we'll find out in the future and so after setting the power limit to 100 the temperature limit to 90 fan speed still is at 70 our frames are still about the same we gained four on the low and we gained about four on the average frames uh, is that really worth having an extremely hot PC which could break your really expensive components no look at the temperature the temperature just seems to want to keep going up so giving it some time to cool down a little bit and I'm gonna run the test again at a hundred percent TDP uh, 90 degrees on the maximum temperature allowed and 70 on the fan and we're going to see if it goes past 72 or 73 degrees if so it will just show that it will just keep going up and up but also as you can see here if the temperature just keeps going above 72 or 73 up to 75 degrees it will start down clocking it does not matter if you set the power limit up more. I'm already up to the temperature limit of 90, and it's already down clock and at around 73, 74 degrees, I believe, after this test. What's the point of having everything set to a max if it's just going to down clock it anyways? If it's just going to put it down, set it down low, you might have to switch your settings in-game to a little bit lower. It's not an issue. Uh, the only thing I would not set lower is the uh, FX, FX Fidelity, I believe it's called. 
just keep that on as high as it can go. Set everything else lower, and your quality in game will still look really good. While keeping your room cool. While keeping you cool. While you gotta get these dubs. Hope everyone learned something from this. If so, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, I am always open for questions as well. Love to know what kind of PC you're running. CPU, GPU, RAM, everything. Motherboard. Even the PC case. You know, I don't even do PC cases. Alright. Take her easy. And don't forget to get her done.